Hey, all new TMNT Universal Monster crossover today. I'm gonna make Raph into Jekyll and Hyde. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He's gonna be both. He's gonna be like halfway through transformation so you can tell who he is. So the first step, I'm gonna make his leg bigger or his foot bigger by gluing together two pieces of two millimeter foam that I cut out the size of his foot and then took off his knee pad. I'm gonna take off the other one later. I wasn't sure, but I'm gonna put pants on him so he doesn't need any knee pads and that leg is going to be huge but I start with the epoxy sculpt on his hand just getting that ready or at least part of his hand I'll do the fingers later then I put it slowly on his leg building up the leg to be huge because he's going to be again transforming but he's going to have one small leg and one big leg and uh, that's my first memory of Jekyll and Hyde was through the Looney Tunes but um, usually he turns green but Raph is already green so I can't do that I'm gonna make him big and like just bulking up kind of like the um, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen version that's kind of what I'm basing it off of I didn't use any references when I was sculpting him I just went off my memory in a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen I gave him a mutton chop sideburn on one side and a big eye brow and then his one arm is huge one arm's regular but I made the other foot that didn't transform he's got one big toe so he's like transforming but this is EVA foam floor mat and I cut a piece out and then I'm just carving in um, like a cobblestone road or sidewalk it's gonna be and then a pipe going through because it's like Victorian era where like the sewer would come out of the house and um, just go into the on the sidewalk you know that's where your sewage would go how I imagine Victorian uh, era England would be but I'm covering them all now with an acrylic matte varnish so that's going to make everything stick while all the paint and I especially need it in the places where I didn't cover him because the paint will already stick to the epoxy sculpt and I did uh, use spackling to fill in any cracks and stuff and gaps that I didn't like that were there because it dries a lot faster if I would have filled in the cracks with um, epoxy sculpt it would have had to wait a day before I started painting but I didn't so I didn't and that's good because I like to get these done as uh, fast as I can so I can get the video out but then I painted him all his skin with a hunter green now I have a leaf green I'm gonna dry brush all over his skin just to you know give him a lighter color and bring out all the details and especially on the giant legs I carved in a bunch of details I made two parts of his shell kind of bigger and mutating or just growing or um, turning into hide but I call him Mr. Turtle and go hide because if you see him you should probably go hide and that makes sense and I have a glow green it's glow in the dark green I did for the eyes and I used it last week on Mikey but then when I filmed the video I got confused and thought it was a, a glow under black light which it also does but that's just because I was at the store I was gonna get another one and they didn't have that one but they had the glow under black light one which looks exactly the same and um, yeah long story but then I glued together two pieces for the base they're just wood shapes and uh, put the brick uh, sidewalk on top of that and I had carved bigger teeth in I gave them bigger teeth on that side so I had to paint that white and then with the glow green I mixed some wild wasabi it's the lightest like dullest palest green that I have and I thought about making the like bigger parts uh, like a flesh tone but I was too far in it. I didn't want to take that chance because I didn't have time to repaint it. I didn't know how it was. It could have looked cool, but I didn't do it. So now I have a deep red that I use. I just kind of dry brush it on and I did like two or three thin layers to get that look on the uh, cobblestone. I have a cinnamon brown that I was going to use earlier when I poured it and then I decided to do the gray cement first and now I have a raw sienna that I'm covering his plastron with and um, then I have silver that I mix with black to get kind of a gunmetal-y color that I do for the sewer or pipe that's gonna go and those are two little crowbars that I uh, 3D printed because I wasn't sure what weapons he's gonna have and I went with that because I was thinking England and I've never been to England but what I've seen on TV and stuff they use like a lot of tire irons and stuff like that as weapons because they don't have a lot of guns and uh, then I thought it looked too much like a brick wall the um, floor 
because it's supposed to be cobblestone. So I made the raw sienna into a wash just by adding a bunch of water and then I went over it with that so now it's more orangey. It looks more like a sidewalk or a road than a brick wall, a red brick wall that you're used to. So that's from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And um, then I did another coat of the matte acrylic varnish to seal everything up but I just skipped over it because you don't have to see me doing a clear coat twice because you can't even see the clear coat because it's clear so what's the point and then um, I doing a black wash to get in all the cracks just to dirty up and make it look more like a floor then I have some black hockey stick tape and I just cut a bunch of small pieces and wrap them around him to be his ripped up pants and I painted that, uh, that's the one color I forgot to put in, a true burgundy, but I can put it in now, I guess. And then I made a belt with some synthetic leather and a little like belt loop. I'll try and put a link down below. And then I thought he was done after I sealed up the pants and the belt, but I remembered I gotta put lines in his teeth. So I used a 0.05 fine liner to do that. And now he's done, that's what he looks like. Uh, mid transformation or maybe that's just what he looks like when he transforms I don't know how he has these patches of hair or he normally does but then when he transforms he loses them um, he's part turtle part human part monster and until next time remember always keep your head up peace